Now, the big question is, what are we going to do with the loot? What are we going to do? Yeah. Who has the loot at the moment? You have. Exactly. What do you mean? Well, it hardly seems a question of we. Doesn't it? Frankly, no. Well, I agree that possession is nine points of the criminal law, but surely the tenth is when someone knows who's got it, he's in a position of peculiar power. You mean he might, for instance, telephone Scotland Yard? He might forget he was a gentleman. I suppose he might. I put it as a theoretical possibility. Yes. Which must be taken into consideration. Must it? Must. Are you moving towards proposing some kind of a bargain? Arrangement. In the proportion of nine to one. I like you, Raffles. There's a sort of dashing swashbuckling looking after your own interests that appeals to me. We're birds of a feather. Are we? Sportsmen both. You play cricket for England. I played poker in Texas. <laughs> Good meal, more dangerous, I can tell you. Should we toss for it? The loot? Yeah. Even chances? Yeah. Giving up my nine points of possession? No, thank you. You must agree that I have a moral right to a share of it. Moral? Well, using the word in its broadest possible sense. It's so broad that it becomes almost the contrary. But yes, you have an immoral right to some of it. When you took it from me, H.A. Raffles, you had only one right. You had a gun and I had none. I have no gun now. Neither, of course, have I. Well, shall we uh, cut a pack or toss for it? Neither. I agree. I've seen too many double-headed pennies in my time. I had too many people who can make a pack of cards turn up and talk. Yeah. Well, what do you suggest? Oh. I suggest... I keep the swag. One hundred percent of it. And you go on running to Inspector Mackenzie with your tears, which he'll very soon get fed up with if he's not fed up with them already. Oh, yes, and uh, to hell with you. I like your spirit. Did you expect me to say anything different? No. You expect me to run away without coming to see you? No. So neither of us is disappointed in the other one. Will you have another drink before you go? Yes, if you'll join me. I hate drinking alone. Gladly, but then you really must go. Must I? Mm, I have to dine at Romano's. I shall not keep you long. I'm sorry to be such a bad host. No, 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 no. Thank you. I've no notion of going to the police. It's unethical, unsporting. And awfully unreliable. I mean, how could that inspector have managed not to find the loot when it must have been here all the time? Yeah, well, if it is, he failed to look in the right place. Well, as you... My dear fellow, I must congratulate you on your acuity. You know, I thought those Indian clubs an impregnable stronghold. But, of course, you had a better idea, a safer hiding place. Your health, Lord Ernest. And yours, Ralph. Now, I should not dream of going to the police. What I should dream of doing, what I should certainly do, is uh, talk about you. To whom? Oh, in general, in society. You mean tell lies about me? Do you rather tell the truth? <laughs> no. Got to be down for a thief, or what would you rather be down for? You swine. Do you think so? Oh, it's you would have a bad reputation. In the end of a month, there wouldn't be a hostess in Great Britain who'd dream of inviting you to anything, not even a charity bazaar. Society's a question of position, my dear boy. And my position's a good one. And from mine, I can ruin yours. Are you entirely lacking in principles? I've always found it far more comfortable without them. What would it take? Not to ruin you? Yes. Money. Or its equivalent. Say the Kirk Leatham diamonds. The Kirk Leatham diamonds? They were a great deal of trouble to steal in the first place. Is that what you wanted? Yes. Thank you. And the rest, if you'd be so kind. 
That's enough for your share. May I remind you that since they last changed hands, the positions are exactly reversed. You refuse my offer to share them then, I refuse yours now. Do you? Come on, give them to me. And quick. Then you can go to your dinner and I can go to mine. I feel most reluctant to give them to you. And pray don't come out with any more of your hypocritical cant about morality. I stand by the morality that makes the world go round. What's that? The good old rule, the simple plan of let him take you at the par and let him keep who can. The morality of the bully and the blackguard? Exactly so, hand them over. I, I, I must think. May I have a cigarette? Uh, by all means. <laughs> and you a test cricketer. Put that rug down. Are you hoping to fly away on it? Put it down. That was a warning shot across your bar. Look at this warning. Perhaps foolish. You know, in Texas, they teach you not to hesitate in killing a man. They don't give you a second chance. Next one will hit you below the waterline. How do you fancy your chances in the next test with a couple of bullet holes in each leg? I believe you'd do it. Don't doubt it. I see very neat. <laughs> That's pity. Now I come to think of it, I have to kill you anyway. How do you know? Now you know who I am. And you think I might be as big a blackguard as you? Oh, no. None of it, sir. A risk I can't take. 